something like this business can be so draining. taxing. It's like we put ourselves out there, and for what? We're not drinking coffee. It was water the whole time! We're acting. Did you get it? We're I'm never gonna get hired again. I'm never gonna get hired. You're already hired! Well, I mean... You're currently hired! F***ing up everything! You're gonna bleep that, aren't you? Bleep every time I say Okay. Give a couple more. Okay. This is just a test. There it is. Where you play the role of Christian Mohammed Schwarzelberg, a true right. comedian. We got nominated for a, a, a new alliance and an alliance. Okay. What is it? Oh god. Doesn't know the name of the awards. Award viewers, award voters. I just focus on the work. I'm gonna throw up <laughs> down your nose in your mouth. He's got an emo swoop, yeah. where you don't know like what kind of product it is. You is it like natural? Yeah. Is it like a mousse? There's, it's just dirty. Do you uh, wake up and just shake it and that's how it gets there? Or do you have to do a brush through? I genuinely just have really good hair. Cause I could see you in like a print ad for like, charming Verizon guy, half off on international yes. calls. And you could be the shruggy guy, the guy who's kind of like, oh, why? This, is, this would be my phone ad. Well, I can't even hear her. <laughs> Are you and like this guy? Oh. Let's say you made billions. What would you do with that money? Probably buy like a bunch of dogs. <laughs> Top of the line dogs are just like a couple oh, like no, no. good buddies. Um, I would buy a farm upstate. Oh. And I would buy a bunch of dogs. That's a man after my own heart. Have you been upstate a bunch or what do you no, know about upstate? No, I just hear people say that a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a cabin upstate. Have you been upstate before? Once for Christmas. Ha you cannot say that you you'll do that with your money if you've only been there once. All right, I really want to... I Okay, here's what I would do. And then I'd move to Salem, Massachusetts. Okay, for a witch trial. And live on the water. Okay. Because my favorite movie is I Know What You Did Last Summer. And you want to get killed? <laughs> no, I just love that town. It's a good town. <laughs> like, I love the look of it. Perhaps you could be a gardener. Yes. I was like, look at all these great plants. And Jared's like, I got a plant. I was like, your plant looks like shit. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's growing fruitfully. And he's like, um, this is not a healthy leaf. And he's like, you, I'll prune that for you. And I just like started, and, and then, Jared goes, yeah, you killing my plant? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. I've never had a plant. Do you have plants? No. I grew up gardening and doing like my yard work with my dad, prune plants and get, get rid of all the grass and then relay grass. And kill all the squirrels. Do you, you gardeners do that too? Well, <laughs> Won't they eat the crops? There aren't squirrels in Arizona. Like rattlesnakes and owls. No. Would there be rattlesnakes in your yard? Well, no. Where would they be, like, neighboring They yards? would be, like, in the mountains. Okay, so would you go into the mountains? Yeah, oh yeah, of course, as a child. Would you see the snakes? Yeah, oh yeah. Were they friendly? No, no. <laughs> so they chase you, you're saying? Well, I just remember one time I was, like, on bikes with my friends in the mountains. I was like, wait, why did my friend Alex stop? And then I, like, came up to him and I, like, stopped. Snake got and him! And he was like this. It bit his front tire, and he was just staring at it. And then I was like, just go! And then he, like, drove over its head. Whoa, no, he didn't! That snake aside! Yeah. He killed the snake? Yeah, he did. Would you? I would have, like, sat there until it let go, and then went away. <laughs> I would have been like... Even if it took hours, just in. Yeah. <laughs> I'd give them... Cyber hugs. Oh, was, that a bur was that a burp and a blow away? Huh? Yeah. In terms of, um, like a <laughs> Brooklyn... That was a burp and, yep. and a blow away. A return of a burp and a blow away. And my guest did it. And you did it very well because I don't smell anything. Well, I rarely smell. But burp, how did, are you saying your burps don't smell? My burps, Get out of my apartment. My burps don't smell. My armpits never smell. And your farts smell like roses no, no, and leaves. No, actually, you know what? My farts probably smell. As he crosses his leg as if to prevent it. My, all my sketch comedy group, Nancy. Nancy? They are texting me. We're brainstorming for our next sketch. You guys are a funny group. Yeah, we're silly. We, we're just, we don't even know who we are. You're a bunch of silly, stupid assholes. I yeah. love it. Yeah. We all know each other. Um... Double! Good. We're sharing burp impulses. <laughs> it's like when women are together too long they cycle menstruate men burp together yeah and mine's like water burps i haven't eaten anything yeah mine are like i don't even know you guys are you happy to be here with <laughs> us <laughs> they always are this so he's an improv big shot what are like some of the rules can you give us like a crash course oh, i don't know say yes now what's the, okay i've heard this a lot yes like if somebody's like oh we're on, on the boat in the ocean you're like yes and instead of no i'm asleep like, that's not- Let's try. And I'll see if I can give you a okay. yes and with a negative. Alright. Did you pick up those tampons I asked you to get? Yes, and no, you can't have any. What? The <laughs> end! <laughs> yeah. It's that easy. It's not just yes and, because you could do a yes and- No. You can't- you can do anything. Why would you- Jared. I can give you- How about you start it? It doesn't even really matter.
You wrote an idea down. Yeah, which is the opposite of improv. <laughs> yeah, like, what? So ask me where we are, and then get ready, because I'm going to tell you where we are, and you have to be there. Like, total environmental work. So ask me. Ask me where we are. What? Uh, where are we? Jerry? On the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do... Who didn't think to bring an oxygen mask? He didn't yes end the oxygen mask. You're right. Do you need an oxygen mask, Max? Yes. Here you go. So we're on the moon, and I hear that there are space dogs around. Did you hear that? Yeah. You're not gonna end it? What's just you say yeah, that's how you improv? You Very didn't good. come up with anything, Jared. I did the space dogs. And this any is of my terrible. <laughs> It's like a dream. It's like a dream when you're like running and you have gold and you're like, oh, I'm running and I have this gold because I stole it from this pirate. And there's the dragon chasing me, so I better just hop on the exactly. boat. Exactly. And the boat flies. You're the one that I want. Yeah. Was the name of the show? Yes. When you look back on that show, what's the first word that comes to mind that we that you feel? Whoa. Because the whole entire time I was like, well, there's no way I'm gonna win this. Because yeah. they kept saying, then fix your hair. Yeah, and I was like, well, I don't you know. You don't look like a daddy. There's not ten pounds of gel in there. Yeah. And I, I don't know. It was between Max and a forty-year-old gay guy. Max won. He's selling insurance. This is all my point of view. But Max emerged the victor. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It was like, <clears throat> like. That's what I just did. <laughs> it was like. You Louis Armstrong did. I honestly didn't know enough about anything at that point, so I was like, this is all cool, whatever. Sure, can you feel the love tonight on Andrew Lloyd Webber week? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and if you watch any of that episode, he's like this the whole time. <laughs> I was next to Laura Osnes every day for a year. I can't sing. Laura what? Osnes is a bird. She is <laughs> at any moment could take flight and never <laughs> returns. I came here to do Greece when I was 21. The doors to Broadway opened up. Yeah. Really, Danny's just like a sweet guy who has everything wrong. I feel like our generation is the last generation of like wide-eyed dreamer kids and like the next generation is like, oh, I want to be famous and have everything now. Oh no. Sure. I will go on a killing spree no, of those sure. people. No, no killing sprees. <laughs> I have uncontrollable rage. <laughs> when you were growing up, what other kinds of like rhymes did they like use to try and teach you i didn't learn a single thing in school Jerry. i was more focused on like why is there a turtle in the classroom <laughs> when they're trying to teach us something because all i want to do is go see that turtle max max sit in your seat there is there is a there's a full-on turtle yeah. it could be leonardo it could yeah. be Raphael. That's it could so be any terrible. of them i had to sit on a ruler because whenever i would stand up it would make noise it was for me to go oh right i should be sitting and i would also stand on my desk and be like everyone there is a playground right outside. Why yeah. are we doing yes. addition? And I would be like, if we all go, they can't stop they can't us. Stop. And I would always get demerits, and I would like bury them in the sand. And my like actual... they wrote it out, and your parents had to sign it, and I would always be like, mm -mm. With no pit stains, and with many pit stains, Max Crumb, yeah. say goodbye to your fans. Thanks. Goodbye, my fans. <laughs> That's all you got?